Oral traditions tell us that at some point in the 18th century, at the court of Banjun in the Cameroon grass fields, an artist whose identity is unknown invented an innovative and astonishing new art form that mesmerized audiences throughout the region. And it's likely that the work of art introduced at that moment is the one here in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is a sensational art form considered a landmark in the field of African art. And yet it's a form of representation that ironically we know very little about because by the time this work left the region, in 1969, it was no longer in use, and we have very little documentation of its active life. It defies categorization. It's not freestanding, it's not a mask. It actually was a crest that came out as part of a ceremony for the ascension of a new leader to the throne and his succession. In many African art forms, the head is the site of intellect and one's essence. The artist has aggrandized the soaring planar brow and the bombastic facial features of the cheeks, nose, and mouth, bridged by the eyes that gaze heavenward as if witnessing an awe-inspiring event. Time has played a part in eroding the surface of this work, which is a testament to the many generations of use. Its age only enhanced its power. There were native repairs, efforts to extend its life, this is a form that had a ripple effect. And one of the reasons we think this is the prototype is because of its age. Today, we know of only 15 major examples of later vintage. Studying those comparative works gives us a sense of what this piece would have looked like when it was carved an abstract graphic design would have once been emblazoned across the surface of the forehead. Today, even though we're missing all of that rich content, just looking at this, we're still impressed by the out-of-the-box visual thinking that underpins this creation. It was original in its own time, but it remains fresh to this day.